Hi all, in this video I am going to explain how we are using a table in table component in the primary library. So if you want uh, in your web applications, if you want to display your uh, data in a table structure and if you want to apply some pagination filter, then uh, you know, sorting and all, uh, instead of writing everything manually, you will get a, a free library called PrimeNG in that we have many components which you can uh, use easily. So in the PrimeNG in the previous video I have already explained how we are installing this PrimeNG in Angular 12 application. So for that I am just uh, or you can see that video and or else I can go through a two step process only npm install PrimeNG and PrimeNG icons you can give then in the angular.json you can give these many libraries uh, globally then once you have uh, done these steps um, you can rerun your application and you can use whatever components you want to use you can use it so here i am going to use a table component so you can search on the component name and you can go to the documentation so in the documentation they are showing one example with list of customers with global filter then sorting um, then filtering then filtering based on the table field level then pagination also I can show you how we are going to implement it for doing that first you have to do npm install angular cdk so I have already installed that you can just run the command npm install angular cdk save then it will install in your package.json you can check on that if it is already installed so you can see the cdk uh, angular version has been already installed then you have to import the module in the html so before that i have already written a static json like user list.json so what i am going to do is like i will show this user list as a table structure so I have created service uh, you can uh, you can think about it as a dummy JSON I will call this dummy JSON through HTTP client request and I will call that service inside the component so I will get all those data of users inside this users variable okay in app.component.html you can see I am just displaying those users as a JSON structure so you can see now this is how it looks now I am going to convert this to a primary table so for that first wherever you are going to implement this particular table on the corresponding module you have to import table module from the primary then you have to import in the import section so if you are using a lazy loading structure and if you are going to return this table inside different component the corresponding module you can import this instead of app.module.ts okay then save it the next step is like in the html you have to show this table structure so this is the p table or prime ng table before it was called prime ng data table p data table okay so it has been changed to table now I'm removing this JSON structure I can show you one more thing yes. so our JSON structure is inside the users you can remove those users with car and what are the fields you want to display to the user the heading part you can give any name you like you can give that so it is it contains name age email id mobile pin code so that is name age mobile email id then one more th one more th contains pin code or postcode then the users list we are taking each and every user one user and i will display 
that user field name so whatever name mentioned whatever the key mentioned here that should be show there so the key is name here in the first column we are showing the name the second column we are showing the age so make sure you are copying the same object name so heading should be whatever name you want to show to the user that is fine but this variable name should be the same name coming from the json then user dot email id next one sorry in my case i have added the mobile first so i will change this to mobile then fourth column is the email id so email id variable name is this one so user dot email id then i will add another row so another column td user dot what is the last one which is showing pin code so here it is postcode so i am just showing the user as a postcode now we can check whether it is reflecting okay you can see right i am just removing the json structure here saving it it will automatically run and reflect now you can see the table structure if you want to add a pagination to this particular uh, number of records for example in one in, in this page user want to see only uh, you know 10 records or 5 records how we will implement this so before going into that way you can see now all i have implemented is a static column name okay so i know what will be the columns which are coming from the back end if you are not aware that you can go with a dynamic pro okay in that you can put an ng4 and you can assume this as a columns and each column it will take care and it will show the header it will show the row data as well so in that you can see the column should be assumed like field it should be like this way so it will be automatically showing like this way you can refer this dynamic form we have a templating option as well so if you want to change the color of or design of a particular row we can simply easily do based on inside the td you can give a spam or whatever styles you want to apply or image you want to apply you can simply achieve that okay the next thing i am going to show how to implement the pagination so pagination is something which will show like this way how many pages we have how many total number of records we have in one single page how many records we are going to show this that type of information we can we will get it from the pagination so if you want to add a small a simple pagination structure in your applications you simply need only two things that is paginator true and row stem if i do this paginated true row stem i am giving rows 5 because i don't have much records to show as a two different pages so you can see if it is 5 it means i have to show only five records in one single page okay. so this is a remaining records this is a pagination single pagination so if if you want to see you know showing this many entries then if you want to show you know this drop down for example user can decide in one page how many records a user can see it is a 10 20 30 something like that so user can decide so if you want you can keep that as well for doing that you can copy so before doing that you have to add one more thing i can show you in the module sections you have to implement browser animations modules as well so i am going to implement then only it will work actually browser animation 
selection tool copy import from animations save it then then you can show a row per Saving 5, 10, 15, save it. You can see, right? 5, 10, 15. So we don't have any 15 record, that's why it will not show 10 and 5. Okay. So if you want to show showing these many entries, then you can give another option current page report template something like that show current page report as well so we have different option and if you want to apply a sorting sorting is also a simple one so only thing you have to give this code code is the name okay for example i can show you if i want to sort it down where you have to see that particular icon here p sortable is called i want to show based on the name so you can give name then this is the arrow icon so arrow icon the field name you can give road save it that's all can see sorting will also work it's very simple to implement all the sorting then filter also so we have a global filter and we it is possible to apply this column level filter as well and one more thing a bit best option another option is called lazy logging so if you have many records more than 4000 records let's assume so it is loading every 4000 records in the browser itself it will uh, you know there is a chance the browser will hang so we can lazy load it so when its user clicks on the second it will it will fetch another 10 first it will load 10 records when i click on that second it will go um, call an endpoint it will return the second 10 records when i click on the third it will return another 10 records something like that so filter also everything will be a lazy loading dynamic that is called server side pagination so all the data will get dynamically based on each actions we are performing so this is also very simple to implement you can give lazy load through and on load how much records and after loading how much record so you can implement corresponding implementations you can see right so the implementation also simply you can run via this way and also we have an editable option as well so many options are available here so you can edit tick so many options are available you can just go through it and based on the uh, you know, requirement you can easily implement it it's very simple only so guys please don't forget to subscribe my channel